Another thing that this system has been providing is heavy snow that has blanketed Truckee, California, as you can see here in this drone video shot by HurricaneTrack.com. Roads and homes and even businesses have been completely buried in this winter weather. HurricaneTrack.com owner and storm tracker Mark Suddeth, who caught this footage, is joining us now. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. You are no stranger to crazy weather. Rather, you chase it. So what has chasing this snowstorm been like across portions of California? Well, I started out in the Santa Cruz area, went up into the Sierras for the massive snow that we saw there, and now I'm back down near the coast today near Watsonville. What an adventure for me as a geographer, somebody that studies this tumultuous time for the people of California. It's been just a roll up several weeks. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a lull today. Yes, it's raining lightly, but there's a bigger storm coming in at least for this weekend. And as we look ahead to the weekend, we are going to be looking at, yet, yeah, as you mentioned, another round of a big storm moving through. What's your expectation? What do you expect to see uh, as you travel through California this weekend? It's just going to unfortunately be more of the same. This high winds at the onset, heavy rain with the threat of flooding. There are sandbags here behind me, people getting ready for this, cleaning up from the last one. These have been relentless. And again, it's going to come in with the same kind of fury that we have saw, seen recently, but the problem is this time, everything is piling on top of previous storms. So even though it's raining lightly right now, that is still rain, that is still moisture going into the ground, bringing those river levels up. And uh, just near me, P uh, Pajaro is, uh, part of it is being evacuated because the river there could overtop those banks. Uh, Watsonville, where I am right now, same kind of scenario. All of this going to be repeated again uh, this coming weekend with this next storm coming in. You make a good point there. An inch of rain at this moment in time doesn't equal what an inch of rain would have a month ago. It's that compounding effect. And so, you know, you've been chasing some of these imageries across the region so far this week. Have you noticed anything? What would you say is the most jarring thing you've seen so far? that California looks like it has been hit by a tropical storm with snow in the higher elevations. It is very much uh, like a Hollywood movie. I've said that a few times, it, it, and they make these movies here in California, right? But it seems like it. It's just relentless. It's like the day after tomorrow meets Groundhog Day. And that is not meant to sound comedic at all. It is true. These people are getting a little bit tired of it. They're getting weary. They try to endure it, but enough is enough. But unfortunately, Mother Nature is going to keep throwing these punches at California in the form of these storms. It really is an unfortunate situation. It has been for the last couple of weeks. It will continue to be at least for the next 10 days or so. You've been to, from my understanding, Southern California as well as uh, out towards the mountainous areas. What is the contrast have you seen compared to Southern California? That's a great question, and it has been remarkable. Going from the coast, where we saw the impacts coming in from this last storm, Monday, Tuesday, and then getting up into the Sierra, seeing the extremely heavy snowfall, the disruption to Interstate 80. I saw that firsthand today. All of those trucks that try to get through there. We talk about the supply chain. Well, that, that's very much in play up here. Interstate 80, an important corridor between Nevada and California. The juxtaposition and the contrast of what's going on at the coast, the valley in between, and the Sierra Nevada mountains is truly remarkable from a meteorological, meteorological perspective, but to the people, it is very impactful. So impactful, treacherous travel, no matter where you are at in the state. Like you mentioned, the juxtaposition of wet, soggy conditions, and then you run into the heavy snow totals as you head east in the state. HurricaneTrack.com owner and storm tracker Mark Suddeth, thanks so much for joining us, and we're hoping you stay safe out there as you continue Thank to give you. us these great visuals. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.